And... We're gonna have some fun, we're gonna have some cracking food. We might have deep fried toenails if we're in the mood. We're not going too fancy, it'll always be quite cheap. So come and join a road trip in the wife's Blue Willis Jeep. Today we're doing burgers, a light and tasty theme. They leave you feeling energized. Okay, a man can dream. <laughs> I'm salivating feverishly. You'll get the blow by blow if you join the Bolshevik of me, the Brit to go. Hey! Right then, we're going to Wayback Burger. Apparently, they do some pretty cool stuff. Some pretty tasty burgers and shakes as well by all accounts so on that account watch me mic camera woman the boss let's uh let's take the wife's jeep and go get some grub <laughs> here we go here we go here we go i'm driving away quietly <laughs> Ooh, I can't, i'm hungry i can't wait i'm hungry So do you ever do this? Do you ever, when you're driving for somewhere to eat, do you ever look at other places and go, oh, fancy there as well. Oh, fancy there. Or when you've been for somewhere to eat and you're coming back, there you go, oh, you know what? I should have gone there. That looks even better than what I just had. They do fried eggs there. They do chicken wings there. They do pork scratchings. Fancy some of that though. What have we got here? Is this it? Oh, we're here. We're here, we're pulling in. Let's try this. How you doing? Hi. Uh, so I've been recommended to come and try some of your amazing stuff and I've already seen stuff on the menu that's blowing my mind. So. What do you, uh, for a sandwich, what do you recommend? What's the speciality? Uh, right now we do have a lunch special going on. It's a double patty burger, any way you want it, with fries and a drink, and it's gonna come out to be 975. Okay, what, what, what's the, what's the Guacchio World? Let's try that, let's try the Guacchio World Burger. I wanna try some of that. Pepper Jack, guacamole, chipotle, uh, mayo, and then lettuce and tomato. That sounds good. Let's do one of those. All right. Would you like fries and a drink? I'm going to do some chili cheese fries, uh, some regular Irish nachos. Um, I'm going to try one of those tangerine shakes. Oh, my word. What's in the tangerine shake? It's just going to be a, like a regular milkshake. Yeah. We have a, like a tangerine add-in for it. Oh, yeah. I'll do one of those. And a bottle of water, please. Would you like a uh, whipped cream on that shake? Uh, no, no whipped cream. No whipped cream. Uh, I'm trying to lose weight, so. <laughs> All right. You can tell with the rest of it. Awesome, thank you. Oh, thanks. Almost forgot that. Right. Let's try this. Got some of the stuff on there. I think I think I could uh, die in this room. <laughs> I think after if I eat all that food, I probably will. <laughs> I can feel the salivating feverishly. Right, let's get sat down. Let's wait for this food to come. Oh my.
Oh. So that's all fresh. Yeah, never frozen. Never all fresh, never frozen. Her hot dogs and her bacon. Perfect. And we do our, our chicken here too. It's all hand breaded. Soaking in buttermilk. Soaked in buttermilk overnight. And then we wow. hand bread it, fry it ourselves. Oh my word. We start off with real vanilla ice cream. Look we at that. Milk. We blend it all right here. Oh man, real ice cream. None of you. Process stuff. Yeah, that. Soft serve. And this, yeah, there you go. Wow. We got fresh chili for our chili cheese fries right here. Delicious. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm having. Make sure I get the best one. Good stuff. <laughs> awesome, thank you. No problem. There we go. So here we are at Wayback Burger. So we're in uh, Lithia, Florida. Um, this is a, it's just on a strip mall, just on a regular strip mall near, uh, I think near, near a public supermarket. Been recommended to come here because apparently the burgers and the shakes are something else here. Not to mention the uh, the fries and the different flavored fries. So let's see what this like. So we've got a guacamole burger, which is, I forgot what it said. It's like two big meat patties and guacamole, bacon. I think there might've been somebody's leg in there. It certainly had a lot of stuff in there. Then we've got some um, chili cheese fries, which the guy, when uh, we walked around the inside, he showed me where the chili pot was and everything was made fresh in there that was that was a really nice thing that that the owner just did he actually came out to us out here and said we'd already okayed with him to film and he came out here and said do you want i'll take you in the kitchen and you'll film you can see the fresh meat and where we produce all the fresh produce where we cook it and everything which is you know not everybody wants to do that so i thought that was amazing of him such a nice guy so he, you saw him take me back there and, and we saw everything. So the fact that I saw everything that I was going to eat back there made it really, this made me even salivating free, feverishly. I need that before all this food comes. This is, uh, oh my word. Goodness me. Yeah, all oh, that's mine. Chili cheese fries, yeah. black burger. Oh, look at this. Get a close in on this, man. Thank you. Looks beautiful. Thanks. Thank you. So look at this thing, guys. So we've got chili cheese fries. Look at that chili there. We saw that freshly being made. Look at that. Beautiful. We've got nachos. I know whose favorite those are. Look at those beautiful fresh nachos. And then look at that for a burger. Look at the guacamole just Feeling off of that. Oh, my word. I think I may be a little bit hungry. So where do we start? Where do you start with this? Right, and I forgot to mention this. What is this mango, mango shake? Got to give this a go. I'll let you know what it's like in a minute. Mm. So, Anyone who knows me knows what I'm like with milkshakes. Are I will sure dive. <laughs> oh, it's tangerine. <laughs> yeah, mango, tangerine, the same thing, almost, not quite. Do I need to let him go? Keep going first. Tango milkshake. So you've been tangoed. Tangerine. I don't get it right. So, tangerine milkshake. I got it right eventually after being told by the boss. It's tangerine, not mango or whatever else I said so this is one of those thick milkshakes that you need a strong straw to get up. luckily they've given me a strong straw but that is so good it's got a beautiful flavor right I've been salivating feverishly for the last hour to try these so let's start with one of these chili cheese fries 
give this a go. Oh, so I don't know how much of this you can see, but you've got all this chili. Do you want to zoom in a little bit or just sort of hover over? Right. So you're looking here, you can see, look at the chili that's in there. Look at all that chili soaking up those fries. And then topped off with what looks like probably a Mexican blend cheese. That is exactly how I love this kind of fry. Look at that. You see that? See, that was like a pizza. You see the way the cheese just peels off that. That is absolutely... I'll let you know in a second. Oh. That is absolutely beautiful. Fries on their own are pretty good. And I saw these being cooked. But when you put the chilli and the cheese on top, they're outstanding. Right, let's go for the big boy. Let's try the, the guac burger. Let's put those over there for now. We also have malt vinegar. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. Do you have any napkins, it could... <laughs> Yes, no. Thank you. It knows we're British. It's brought over malt vinegar. Look at that. Heinz vinegar. You've got to have that on the fries, even with chilli. Let's bob a bit of that on, let's let the flavour run through that before I try them again. I thought it brought me a Diet Coke. <laughs> oh, I can't get the top on. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now for the big boy. So, we have bacon on top, guacamole, two patties, lettuce, and a big piece of tomato on the bottom. Now, I, I'm not a big tomato lover, but you know what, in this, I think I'm gonna be a tomato lover. So let's give this one a go. <laughs> one word, bingo. All right, let's give this another bite. Gonna tackle your, gotta get your chops tackled around this one, or your, your tackles chopped around this one, whichever way it is. But here we go. <laughs> mm. It is one of the messiest burgers I've ever eaten, I think but one of the tastiest. I thought the guacamole would have been kind of overrun by everything else in there, because guacamole is not a really strong flavor, but it comes through and it's got just the right little bit of heat in the guac that really zings through. It's either in the guac or in the, if it's pepper jack cheese, but there's a real, just right little bit of spice that comes through there. But this is, I'm not a big burger eater, I know you can't tell, but I'm not a big burger eater. Normally I'd go for something like a chicken sandwich, spicy chicken sandwich. But this one is, I would get this every time I come here. This is so good. So the boss keeps saying, do the nachos next to I think secretly because she wants to eat the nachos. Nachos are the boss's thing. Um, <laughs> but each time I was going to Okay, let's do the nachos. Ah, just one more bite of burger. Just one more bite of burger, because that burger is so blooming good. But to keep the boss happy, let's do the nachos. So, look at them. So we have onion, we have, oh, that's the boss's favorite right there. Bit of kick in there, look. Bit of chili and cheese on there. Let's give this a go. What were, what were these? These were the, Nacho. It was the other name for them. There's something nachos. Nachos, it says re regular Irish nachos. Who knew? All right. Mmm. So. Homemade chips or potato chips or whatever you want to call them, crisps. Homemade. I saw them cooking in there. We got that on video, the cooking in there. So that's even better. It's better than... 
you know, the bought in stuff. You can't beat it when something's fresh. Mmm. But that is so good. That everything in there, it's got quite a. a <laughs> she's getting some. Sorry. Quite a salty kick to it, which I know you like, but that is really good. That shake. Tangerine. See, I'm normally a chocolate shake, and I saw that, and I thought, I've got to have that. I've got to try that. Oh, God, am I glad I did. That is so good, seriously. All right, so let's do the price list. Let's see how much stuff was. So, the guac burger with pepper jack cheese, $8.99. $8.99 for that burger. $8.99 for a huge beautiful burger the irish nachos for that whole thing 449 look at that 449 you could I, I would be done eating half of that that would fill me up the uh chili cheese fries 449 again again look at the size look how much you get the tangerine shake 549 with no whipped cream you could have had a whipped cream on it 549 I would have paid double for that that is that good but I am a milkshake lover the thickness was just the right amount I like it when you get in a straw and you're trying to you know your face is caving in inside out while you're trying to drink it and then you get the slightest little little bit of flavor there just encourages you to keep trying but that was all beautiful so all that with the bottle of water everything in was $25.55 plus tax. That's That for me is a deal because that feeds two or three people easy there. That is a lot of food there for $25. So me and the boss are gonna enjoy this. And then at the end, we'll give our final review. We'll give it a score and uh, we'll show you a little bit around the outside of the building. Oh. I'm done. As you can see, the whole thing between us, oh my word. I may just need to sleep here now. <laughs> That's crazy. That was crazy good. So we're at Wayback Burger. And I'm not sure if Wayback's a franchise, <clears throat> but we're at the one in Lithia in Florida. This is this was absolutely one of the best burger joints best takeaway burger joints i think i've ever been to different to the regular stuff everything on there just had a twist in its taste it was phenomenal the fact that jay the owner <clears throat> took us inside you, you know we just turned up and said do you mind if we film you know ordering some food and eating it like it was something really big the guy was so accommodating took us straight inside and showed us the kitchen, showed us the fresh food, uh, the way they keep the meats, the way they cook it. The fact that he did that without any prior knowledge to us coming shows the confidence he's got in the way he stores and prepares his food. So I think that is, and what a super nice guy. I honestly would recommend this place to anyone who's, you know, in line for a takeaway, a burger, um, shakes, sandwiches, they, they do all the usual stuff, but, but, with extra love and care and taste so final review we've got to give it a score we we'll give it a score out of 10. um as burger joints go it, it's got it's an absolute 10. it's a it's 100 this is a 10 out of 10. the milkshakes they even had like cereal milkshakes that you can they had the usual excuse me <laughs> they had the usual oreo ones and that kind of stuff but some really funky ones too so great milkshake great sides the fries the nachos all the loaded stuff uh, the different choice in burgers chicken and beef and everything else incredible and they have heinz <laughs> heinz malt vinegar as well what can you say what gets better than that so who else has been here so i'm interested in your thoughts on way back burgers wherever you're at um I know what my thoughts are, but what have you had when you've come here? What's, what have you had here that's been, wow, you know, I never expected that from a burger. Those kind of things. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your scores, your experiences. It's always good to hear. Also, let me know where you, where you want us to go try next. 
let me know where you want me to go in the wife's Jeep to try and grab some grub. So subscribe, like, share, comment, all of those funky things. So let's get in the wife's Jeep and let's go home. Mango shake, gotta give this a go.